Hello everyone, welcome in Learn CHE. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is state and what is path function. We are covering the thermodynamic syllabus and in thermodynamic syllabus, this is the basics of our thermodynamics, right? And in the basics video, today we are going to cover state and the path function, right? So in this video, what we are going to cover, first we will see that what is state then we will also see that what is the state variables. Then we will see that what is the state function and we will see the example of state function, right? And then we will see what is the path function and the examples of the path function, right? So I have also uploaded the videos about the types of properties like intensive properties and extensive properties and the types of process like reversible process and irreversible process, difference between heat and temperature, what is system and surrounding types of systems. So if you haven't watched that video, so you can watch that videos as well, right in the thermodynamics playlist. So let's start from the our first topic that is what is the meaning of state and state variables. So what is the meaning of state? First, we will see what is the meaning of state right so state of the system it means that the situation we can say all the condition of that thermodynamic system suppose i have here this is my t okay and this t suppose the temperature t1 of this t like uh, this is the temperature that is the t1 and this is the surrounding temperature that is t2 we know about the system and surrounding right we have already covered that video so this cup of tea is my system and except the system is the surrounding so this t2 which i am considering that is my surrounding t1 temperature is higher than the t2 let's suppose this temperature is 60 degree celsius and this t2 and its temperature is suppose 26 degree celsius i am just considering it so that's why the heat will flow from higher temperature to lower temperature we will also see this in our uh, second law of thermodynamics right now just we are considering this right what we are telling about this cup of tea we are telling about this cup of tea situation and condition like this cup of tea is hot or cold right right now as its temperature is 60 degrees celsius so it is hot right so that's why what we are going what we are telling we are telling the condition and the situation of that cup of tea because this cup of tea is my thermodynamic system right so this is the state in the thermodynamics got it and suppose this cup of tea has the temperature is 20 degree 20 degree celsius so what i'll say the state of that cup of tea is cold right now this cup of tea's state is hot right and suppose if its temperature decreases and it reached at 20 degrees Celsius, then what I can say, I can say that the state of that or state of the T is the cold now, right? So what states tell us, state tell us about the situation and the condition of the thermodynamic system. Now, how these conditions changes, these conditions are changes and these conditions are depends upon the variables right or we can say the parameters so which parameters these conditions depends we will also consider that so parameters on which this situation of the thermodynamics system depends is called the state variables okay now what are that state variables like there is a temperature right so here is a temperature is t1 that is 60 degree celsius so that time i am saying that this cup is a hot or the state is hot right when this temperature decreases means that temperature is going to change or that temperature is going to become or reached at 20 degrees celsius that time i am saying that my condition or my state of the system is cold right so the parameters here what is the parameter the parameter is temperature right same that parameters may be volume that parameters may be pressure so those parameters on which the situation of the thermodynamic system depends is called the state variables. I hope you got the point what I want to say. So the examples is like temperature, pressure, volume. Okay. So 
that's why i am saying like suppose there is my one system okay so at that time its condition suppose this is my x axis and this is my y axis and these x and y are the variables or the parameters so at this point or at this state it will be suppose x1 and y1 and suppose it to reach here right so at that time my it will be x2 and y2 so the parameters are going to change right after that only we can talk about the state variables that's why we are saying that these are the state variables got it so this was about the state and state variables now we will discuss about the state function okay now you have clear thought about the state now we can discuss about the state function okay what is state function so we discussed in our previous videos about the properties or types of properties so here what is the definition definition is that those properties which depend upon the state of the system okay what is that state i have already told you like this point 1 and this point 2 is called the state okay and this what is this this is the path so this one 1 and t 1 and 2 this is the state because these are telling the condition or the situation of that particular system right so those properties which depend upon the state of the system but not the path followed by the process okay means those properties which depend upon the only depend upon the state of the system or we also say state function is also known as the point function got it okay suppose i have this graph pv diagram okay i have a pv diagram and at that pv diagram suppose this one this is my one state okay and at that one state suppose i will have p1 and v1 will be pressure and volume right and suppose that system goes from 1 to 2 now my second state will be this one okay and at that point my pressure will be p2 and volume will be v2 means that variables state variables are going to change after that only i'll get the state second i hope you got the point and it does not depend upon the path means whether i am going to like this and like this it does not depend upon the path which path i am following okay like suppose my uh, this is the position right so it does not depend upon the path which path i am following it only depends on the final and initial state means the point 1 and the point 2 okay it depends only upon the initial state and final state okay now we have like we have a clear thought about the what is the state function means state functions are those functions which depends upon the state or the initial state and the final state and it does not depend upon the path whether like suppose if i have to go from 1 to 2 whether i take this route whether i take this route or whether i take this route it does not depend upon the path okay suppose here is the internal energy enthalpy pressure volume temperature it does not depend on the path right so that's why its differential will be exact what is it means it means that when i will differentiate suppose i am differentiating i am differentiating the pressure so it will be dp so i'll take p1 my initial condition will be p1 and my final condition will be p2 so what will be my the the integration of this question the integration will be delta p i i can take it delta p or simply i can take as a p2 minus p1 i hope you got the point what i want to say and same with the volume temperature and any other property now one thing here which we must note that is properties must be independent of the path which i have already told you those properties only we can say the state functions and define and define value for each so this is not the define we can define it also definite value for each property during a process okay so during a process that property should have a definite value okay like delta p we know the value of that delta p right it should be definite 
ओके सो दिस इज द माई स्टेट फंक्शन आई होप यू गॉट द यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वट इज द स्टेट फंक्शन नाउ नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पाथ फंक्शन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पाथ ओके फर्स्ट वी सी डेट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द पाथ ओके सो दिस इज माई पी वी डायग्राम पी वी ओके एंड यू नो वट इज दिस वन एंड वट इज दिस टू राइट दीज आर द स्टेट राइट सो इफ माई सिस्टम इफ माई सिस्टम हैज टू गो फ्रॉम वन टू टू देन इट हैज टू रीच फ्रॉम द सीरीज ऑफ स्टेट लाइक सपोज लाइक डेट ओके दीज आर दीरीज ऑफ स्टेट्स थ्रू विच माई सिस्टम इज रीचिंग फ्रॉम वन टू टू सो वेन आई कंबाइन दैट ऑल स्टेट्स देन इट विल बिकम ए पाथ सो दिस इज द पाथ विच वी कॉल्ड हेयर वट इज द वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पाथ द सीरीज ऑफ स्टेट्स थ्रू विच ए सिस्टम पासिस ड्यूरिंग अ प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड द पाथ ऑफ द प्रोसेस गॉट इट now it may be like suppose i want to go from 1 to 2 i can go like this i can also go like this or i can also go like this it depends on me like how i want to go right so those properties which depend upon the path followed by the system is called the path function okay now which properties will depend on it okay we will discuss on this as well like here heat and work are the example of the path function okay like suppose if i want to go from here to here okay so in the case of state function like suppose internal energy right internal energy do not depend on the path whether you are going from 1 to 2 via this direction or via this path or this path or this path it does not make any effect on the internal energy but in the case of heat and work it will effect definitely why suppose if you want to go from 1 to 2 if you are taking this one right so work done will be more in this case as compared to this one or same it will be more in this case as compared to this one right so that's why this heat and both in the case of heat as well right so heat and work that's why these are the path function not the state function got it and after that we can also say that in the case of state function that was exact differential but in the case of path function these are not the exact differentials and we denote it as a del q and we can say del w okay and like in the case of state function if we have to express the change then we will express the change with the delta right but in the case of path function we will express it via del or like suppose if i want to write so i'll write like that 1 to 2 q 1 to 2 and i can also write like that 1 to 2 i hope you got that point as well right so change in the value cannot be expressed as the difference between initial state and final state what is it means it means like it means that i cannot write delta w as like del uh, w1 minus w2 or w2 minus w1 okay i cannot write it i will write it as a first i cannot write it i will write del w is equal to 1 to 2 right so this is my path function right so i hope you understand that what is the state function what is the path function what is the meaning of path what is the meaning of state what is the meaning of state variables if you have any doubt in any particular topic you can let me in the comments box i'll reply and if you want to make more videos on any particular topic you can also let me in the comments box thank you for watching